ABC for the Ozarks. Covering our community, this is KSPR News at 6. For it is in giving that we receive. That is the message of one Vietnamese doctor here at Marion Days. I'm Will Carter, and I'll tell you why the push to get bone marrow donations is so important for this minority. This woman wants to give you the chance to name her baby. Find out why and what it will cost you. And I'm meteorologist Craig Carnese, live at the 2009 Ozark Empire Fair, where we found something new on a stick to eat. It looks like a corn dog. It's not. We'll talk about that and, of course, your weekend forecast coming up. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> right, Thank you, Craig. Stick. Hello again. I'm Joe Dawes. And I'm Christine Dawes. Thanks for joining us. The annual Marion Days event in Carthage is one of the largest gatherings of the Vietnamese community in the country. But this year, there's a special need from the minority. A Houston-based doctor is hoping to sign up thousands for the National Bone Marrow Registry. So why is she pinpointing Marion Days? KSPR's Will Carter joins us now. Well, Joe Christine, the reason is Dr. Ann Rice is Vietnamese herself, and she now faces a life-threatening illness made worse by a lack of possible bone marrow donors to save her life. Among thousands attending Marion Days is a doctor who hopes to raise the number of Vietnamese on the National Bone Marrow Registry. I feel that if we raise awareness and we register people and we save someone else's life, then it would have been something positive that, you know, is something that's so, such a horrible situation. A horrible situation Dr. Ann Rice knows too well. Earlier in the year, she was diagnosed with a rare blood cancer and given only four years to live unless she finds a stem cell donor. But out of more than a million on the National Registry, only 15,000 are Vietnamese. Anyone who's Vietnamese who's affected by a blood cancer and needs a stem cell transplant, they're really at a disadvantage because there's just so few people registered. More than 100,000 people are expected to attend Marion Days, but yet the numbers are still stacked against those who need a bone marrow transplant. It takes about one in every 50,000 people to actually find a valid donor. So Dr. Rice and a team of volunteers are trying to get more Vietnamese registered. They say most simply have a lack of knowledge on the need. Whenever we talk about it, they go, oh, wow, I didn't know about it. They're all so happy to do it. It's just they never knew about it. Even as a doctor, Rice says she didn't realize the need until she became a victim. I'm not surprised that most of the public wouldn't know because even though I'm a physician, I did not know. But as the group spreads its message at Marion Days, that is slowly changing as more are signing up. It feels kind of good to walk out here. Maybe there's a chance I can hear somebody alive. And who knows, maybe that one person saved is Dr. Rice, who's working so hard to save others. So far, Dr. Rice's group has signed up nearly 4,000 Vietnamese since February. She hopes to up that by another 1,000 or so by the end of Marion Days. Covering Carthage, Will Carter, KSBR News.